you can find all of the assets and the scripts in the description below for free. Create a new UI image, call it panel, attach the panel sprite, uh, you can adjust the width and height, then add a grid layout group component, adjust the padding to 10 on all sides, the cell size to 40, and then the child alignment to middle center. Next, create another UI image, call it slot, and attach the slot sprite. Now create a new script called item slot. First, we're going to include Unity Engine event systems. We're going to implement the iDrop handler interface. We're just going to make sure that the slot is empty. And if it is, we're going to set this as the new parent of the item. Don't worry about the errors just yet. We're just going to create a new script called a draggable item. Once again, we're including the event system and also this time the Unity Engine UI. This time we're including three different interfaces, the begin drag handler, the drag handler, and the end drag handler. And we're also initializing them. Next up, we're creating three variables, the image, the canvas group, and the transform for the parent. We simply initialize these variables in the start method by getting the components. When we begin dragging, we want to save a reference to the current parent. Then we want to change the current parent to the canvas root. And then we uh, set ourselves as the last sibling. Then we can indicate that we're being dragged by changing the alpha to 0.5. And we need to disable the raycast target. While we're being dragged, we simply want to snap to the current mouse position. Once the dragging is finished, we simply want to do the reverse of begin drag, which is uh, resetting the parent, the alpha, and the raycast target. Now we can attach the item slot script to the slot and also attach a grid layout group to it. We can set the cell size to 36 by 36 and the child alignment to middle center. This will allow the items to snap to the center. Now let's create a prefabs folder where we will create the slot prefab and now we can make as many slots as you want. Next up, we're going to create the item. So UI image, call it planks, attach the sprite, attach the canvas group and attach the draggable item script. And that's it, you should be good to go. It should work fine. Now you can create as many items as you want. They will snap to the position when you drop them outside of the inventory, they will snap back to where they were before and they cannot go over one another.